In the season finale to Surface, the NBC show that airs here on WECT, Wilmington was destroyed by a tsunami. So, is that science fiction horror story possible in real life? First Alert meteorologist Mark Avery reports it's just a matter of how you look at the odds. The likelihood of one happening tomorrow is extremely low. The likelihood of one happening in the next 400 years is extremely high. But we don't know if it'll be tomorrow or in 400 years. Tom Matheson is the warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service office in Wilmington. He says that tsunamis are a fact of life near the ocean. Matheson, along with emergency managers and others involved in disaster preparedness, have been developing plans to protect people in case a tsunami hit the Atlantic ever since the Indian Ocean tsunami in December 2004. The Carolinas have never had a tsunami event. So we, this is new to all of us. We're doing modeling and we're trying to prepare. There's a lot of ifs involved. One of those models that Matheson and others look at includes a major earthquake in the Puerto Rico Trench, producing a tsunami along the Carolina coast. A computer model with a magnitude 9.0 earthquake there gives a six to seven foot wave along the southeast North Carolina coast. Another likely tsunami producer actually happened a long time ago. In 1755, a major earthquake off the coast of Lisbon, Portugal, caused a tsunami across the Atlantic and effectively eliminated Portugal from further colonizing the New World. A simulation of that earthquake only yields a 1 to 2 foot wave here, but up to 20 to 25 feet in the Netherlands Antilles, off the northern coast of South America. Mark Avery, WECT News. Other potential tsunami producers in the Atlantic include underwater landslides off the continental shelf, a volcano collapsing into the ocean near the Canary Islands, and impact from a meteorite. Whoa. The hurricane evacuation route signs you see on area roads are about to get some company. Signs marking tsunami evacuation routes will be going up. First Alert meteorologist Mark Avery reports it's part of widespread preparations for an unlikely event. While a tsunami isn't likely to hit anytime soon along the Carolina coastline, it's a scenario that emergency management officials like Warren Lee still consider. He says that evacuating areas in the event of a tsunami would be similar to those for a hurricane evacuation, but in a much shorter time frame. The thought process for protecting the public is pretty much the same for that. We try to evacuate as many as we can. The ones who can't get out, we encourage them to move upward. Upward into taller and better constructed buildings, such as those behind me. The minimum height for a tsunami evacuation above normal high tide is about 15 feet. Of course, that depends on how high the wave coming in would be. To help determine how high that water would be, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, is planning on deploying tsunami detection buoys across the Atlantic in the next year or two. To encourage evacuation and awareness, tsunami evacuation signs, similar to current hurricane evacuation signs, will be going up along area beaches in the near future as well. Tom Matheson of the National Weather Service. And people are going to look at these evacuation signs and say, what? We've never had a tsunami warning system before. We've never had a tsunami before. Well, neither have the people in Thailand had a tsunami before, and they did not have a tsunami warning system in Thailand. We don't want to be in that situation here. To raise awareness and preparation, the National Weather Service's Tsunami Ready Program designates communities that have met certain tsunami awareness and preparedness criteria. So far, only two East Coast cities, Norfolk, Virginia and Indian Harbor Beach, Florida, have gotten that designation. Southeast North Carolina counties are working on earning that designation as well. Mark Avery, WECT News. Now the Tsunami Ready Program is similar to the Storm Ready Program. The National Weather Service already has in place every county in southeastern North Carolina and northeast South Carolina has received the Storm Ready designation.